people, the hype is real. This is unlike any other architectural item I have seen anywhere in China. I'm so excited to have finally checked this item off the list of things I've been wanting to see in China for years and years and years. I am at the Tulo. These gigantic earth fortresses are among China's most famous architecture, and it's not hard to see why. I mean, look at this thing. The mountainous countryside of Fujian province is dotted with these giant squares and circles, which are, you guessed it, earth fortresses. My travel companions and I are finally leaving the coastline of Fujian behind and heading into the mountainous innards. It's time to see some fortresses. Mehmeti is the driver, I am the map operator, and Aesadan is the... Kalmedi! Aesadan and Mehmeti are from Kashgar, Xinjiang, and they've never seen a Tulo in their life or even know what a Tulo is. So, this is going to be an interesting surprise for them. Actually, it turns out today has multiple surprises. There's a thing happening, so we pulled over on the side of the road to see the thing. Chong, chong, chong. This is not the kind of music I would have expected with this kind of a procession, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> this procession is actually representing deities visiting Earth during Chinese New Year and spreading blessings to the local villagers. If you're curious about the racial diversity among the deities, the black one is actually representing a deity whose face has turned dark from incense smoke. People burn incense to honor the local deities, so a dark skin color represents a deity that gets a lot of attention from the public. So you might think that this is the highest level deity at today's event, but actually there is one tier higher, which is the little guys on thrones. Being carried on a throne is the ultimate honor reserved only for the highest level deities, and for the other ones, being represented by a person in a suit will suffice. <laughs> <laughs> now this procession is heading through the village and stopping by every house to deliver blessings to all the locals. Events like this were happening all over Fujian in late February, often for multiple days on end, hours and hours into the afternoon, and we do have places to go after all, so we eventually extracted ourselves from the color and noise and excitement and got back on the road. <laughs> Yeah.
And eventually, we caught sighting of our very first Earth Fortress. These have been on my list of things to visit in China for the past five years. Finally, finally, finally visiting the Kuala. 兄弟们，我们到了，看土楼了。People, the hype is real. This is unlike any other architectural item I have seen anywhere in China. 真的好大呀！真的没想到。It looks like an apartment building at a glance, but it's actually not. It's a series of very long and skinny townhouses arranged in a circle, or a square, or a rectangle. This is a four-story building, and each person's house has one section on every single floor. It's like a cake, and each slice of the cake is someone's house. The days of bandits are long gone, and even if there still were bandits, people would definitely prefer more modern building materials to make their fortress with. So barely anyone lives here. More houses are occupied now than usual because it's right after Chinese New Year. So some people who had come back to their hometown for the holidays are still here. You mean, is it 常年都住吗？还是过年的时候回来？啊，过年的时候回来。如果平时来的话，这个楼大概有几个人啊？老人家有在这边啊、哦，这这人不多，平时啊，大家都搬出外面去了，差不多二十个人左右吧。二十个，二十个人，这么大一个，三百多间。这一层就是吃饭，对，跟跟那个，那然后睡觉是那个二层、三层、四层。It's basically impossible to find you a tulo anywhere in the country that is fully functioning as it was like 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. There's really just two types of tulo. One. Is the type that haven't really been developed for tourism, and they're basically empty almost all the year. And then type number two is the ones that have been turned into a tourist destination. This one's not really one of those. There was a guy outside the gate asking ten RMB of everyone who's coming in. It was just a local villager trying to get that bread, and that's understandable. If all these random people are going to be coming in here and walking around, you might as well get money out of it, right? But this isn't actually like a tourist site. There are some tulos that have really been turned into a tourist attraction. Some of them have turned into little hotel type things. So you have those kind of tourist sites, and then you have ones like this, which support very little economic activity aside from this one guy. He is hustling. <laughs> 土楼，第一次看到土楼的。啊，土楼，啊，好可爱。对，太可爱了吧？他抽了一个。什么时候呀？刚刚的，就土楼。好，这个该咋说？好愁吗？是不是？涂了盐，还有啥？茶叶。茶叶。对对，这些都是我们这边的本地茶。啊，养养肝养胃。哦，这个就是我们这边笋肝。这个是你们你们做的吗？对对对对对对。好可爱。A local told us that this tulo is about a hundred years old. That may sound impressive, but actually there are way older tulos right nearby. The wooden balconies need to be maintained periodically, but the thick dirt husk around the edge of each of these things could probably stay standing for a millennium. Heading to the next building. Look at the edge of this tulo. There's a bunch of new concrete houses. Sprouting out off of it, a sea of gray concrete, and this one guy was like, "I'm gonna do bright canary yellow." Love it. It's like people still want to be in the Tulo community. They don't want to leave this radius, but they just don't want to live in those old houses anymore. So they've got these concrete houses literally growing out of the sides of the building. <laughs> 过年的话，基本上每家每户都来。这边总共住了二十三户人家，平时的话，这个差不多要住个七八户人家。然后隔壁后面还有一座那个很很老的那个四方楼，六百多年了，明朝的时候建的。然后清朝那个张之洞，那个两广总督有在这边，有在那里面住过。
Let's go， 我们去看历时六百年的土楼。As soon as you go to the door, you're hit with this moist breeze from in here. It's a lot colder. It's just got a spooky vibe in here, for sure. It has to do partially with the size and how much it has blocked out the sun, just the structure of it, not having that big open yard. Partially the fact that it's not as well maintained and it's definitely kind of mildewy in here, and just the fact that there just aren't really any people in here, so it gives it this automatic. Spooky vibe. Don't let it touch. Don't let it. Too scary. You definitely have to be careful walking in here because this place is not as well maintained as the other one. It's not like it would have been in the past where there's like grandparents and parents and kids and multiple generations living in one home. It's definitely just like a few elderly people. So I don't get the impression they're even using the fourth or the third floor. So these top floors definitely have a spooky vibe, and they're not very well maintained. This has got to be the weirdest plant I've ever seen. It's like a mixture of a cactus and a tree. My Metsy got stuck by the cactus. It's a dangerous place out here, people. Be careful. <laughs> the sun is setting. The last rays of golden hour have just disappeared behind that mountain, and we are headed up this hill. <laughs> 小朋友，你在这里上学吗？没有。小朋友，这里还有没有人上学？有没有学生上？我没有上学。<laughs> so this is the old school. I guess there's no school here anymore because there's just not enough kids to support it. So they've taken all the rooms of this old school and converted them into other things. Like there's a clinic there. There's a disaster preparedness like storage room there. 你们都是回老家过年吗？不是，我们本来就在这里。美国热不热？有的地方热，有的地方冷呀，跟中国一样，对吧？我这边是冷的。小朋友，你是不是以为我是美国人？对呀。我不是美国人，我是中，我是中国人。是美国人吗？我是中国人。哦。在戈壁村是吗？对，这方面的。哦。戈壁村。戈壁村。都是邻村的学校，一个人差不多有三公里。拜拜。What a fascinating place. We are a little bit late to the party. Should have come here like 30 years ago, but still, I will take what I can get. Now it's time for dinner, and then the very last item on the list for today: exploring a couple of Earth fortresses at night. Hello. 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 I mean, they may not be entirely abandoned. There maybe is like one or two or three families living in them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
跑太快了吧！这么大一栋楼，两个家庭还在。好长。哇、wow。In the short span of a few minutes, he offered us tea, snacks, candies, apples, and even a whole grapefruit. It probably gets lonely living in an almost empty earth fortress, and I wish we could understand the local dialect so we could have chatted with him more. Yep, this was a fruitful day. Started off the morning with a deity parade and filled the afternoon with a variety of tulo in all shapes and sizes. Earth fortresses don't just exist in idyllic rural settings. In the next video, we'll be showing you guys what it's like to live in an earth fortress caught up in the middle of urbanization. Hope you'll be joining us. Bye.